Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, unfortunately, having some very, very, very big internet problems today, which happens as a streamer, as a content creator from time to time. Trying to get them sorted, kind of had a problem with the new router. Trying to see if that can get sorted by tonight. We're gonna kind of, we're in the works of figuring that out, but thinking I can still get this video up for you guys today. And obviously I wanna give you some kind of content um, at 1 p.m. today, guys, because at 1 p.m. Uh, we are getting, and it is 1 p.m., uh, I think it's 1 p.m. Let me just double check real quick, but I think it's 1 p.m., unless my timer is really off. Um, we should be getting today at 1 p.m., uh, we should be getting new things. So we got footies voting day. Okay, so hold on. We have a footies voting day at SBC, so let's go back in here. And we should be getting batch two of the special cards in packs. Now, I'm not sure everything that's in packs, but we should be getting batch two. So I'm going to log back into Ultimate Team. I'm going to see who today's vote is because um, I'm very interested to see who they're coming with today. Batch two. So we've got FFS. We've got Carnival cards. Um, and we've got Team of the Knockout Stage cards. So wow. Okay. So best of batch two. It looks like there's a lot of good cards in packs. Um, footies fan vote. Choose who should receive a footies winner item from the player pick. Granted to you, select which of the three nominees you want to win. The winner will receive a stats upgrade and will be available. Okay, EA, give us a good player. Please, EA, who is the player going to be? Come on, EA. End of an era. Crouch. Oh, boy. Hold on. Uh, shot. Oh, it's going to be a goalkeeper. God dang it. Right? It's going to be a goalkeeper. Oh. Um. I don't even know. Like, who would I even vote for here? Well... This is kind of a dead vote. <laughs> um, Castiles, Neto, or Ariola? I think in this scenario, I'm going to vote for Ariola. Because Neto is like okay, but they have. They already. I think Neto will probably win. Ariola is actually a really overpowered keeper, guys. His non rare gold card is really good, so I'm going to vote for him. Um, and then, you know, obviously Barcelona already has Ter Stegen's team of the season, so I was looking for a player without a team of the season. Okay, so then also in terms of SBCs, let's see what we have today available. We have a footies voting day SBC. So for this SBC, you get a, uh, I think it's a 45k pack for 78 rated, which is what they've been doing, which is very good. Um, and then there is a Peter Crouch end of an era with Burnley uh, SBC, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I like this a lot. So what you're going to need for this SBC is an 82 rated with one team of the week and one English player, which is actually really sick um, because this SBC almost requires nothing. He's six foot seven. Um, this is pretty cool. 94 finishing, 99 attack positioning, 62 agility and 37 bounce. We are 100%. Uh, we are going to get a review on him on the second channel today. That is without a doubt going to happen, guys. We're going to get that. Um, we're going to get that video out for you guys tonight. Um, but that's pretty cool. I actually really like that. I think that's a good SBC to drop. Um, and it's affordable, right? People can afford it and, and do it easily. So let's go into the important stuff. EA should have tweeted out now what has been released. So they have. So the second batch of best of special items is now available. Special items from the first batch are no longer available. See the full list of batch two now. So we'll go ahead. We'll click on this doc. It's a Google document. Um, it's a Google document. So it's on EA's Twitter, guys, and this is going to be the list of everything. So they have put in um, basically all of the Carnival cards, um, which is very, very good. All of the Carnival cards are in packs. They've put in every single Future Star. So we've got all the Future Stars in packs. We've got all the Carnivals in packs. Uh, we've got all the Future Stars in packs. Then we've got a bunch of Headliners in packs, which is very good because those... So right away, guys, we've got three sets of amazing cards. Um, which is remarkable. That's really good. You're going to have FFS, you're going to have Carnivals, you're going to have Headliners. Team of the Knockout Stages, all of those are in packs. They've gone ahead and put in Team of the Seasons. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't. Okay, so they've put in all of the rest of the world Team of the Seasons, which is really hype. So that means there's a chance for the best of the, the, best of the third one that they're going to put in a bunch of other cards. So we've got Area to VZ Team of the Seasons. We've got EFL Team of the Seasons. Holy moly. Uh, this is hype as hell. We've got Liga Noche Team of the Seasons. We've got Rest of the World Team of the Seasons. We've got Saudi League Team of the Seasons. Super League Team of the Seasons. Um, all this stuff. And then we've got a ton of select men of the matches. And then we've got 260 items in packs. Holy moly. We've got 260 players that are going to be in the special cards that are going to be in the packs. I mean, that is like ridiculous. 
So it is really crazy that they've gone ahead and they put in team of the seasons, guys, because that was something that just, like, to be honest, was not that expected. Um, uh, that honestly is is pretty damn crazy. I was not expecting that. So if you go onto the market, um, that is actually pretty nuts. Um, so they've put in... I actually think that's pretty good um, because in this batch, guys, I was expecting... I was currently expecting no team of the season. So the fact that they've gone ahead and they've... It seems like they've put in, just in general, like, every single team of the season, right? I mean, it, the, the pack drop should be insane for the amount of special cards and packs. 260 special cards uh, are now into this batch, which, like, to me is just absolutely mad. Now, the, for me, the footies vote is very underwhelming today. I don't like that at all. The footies vote today, I'm not really, like, loving. Um, but in terms of the special cards, you've got all of the team of the knockout, knockout stages. You've got all the headliners. You've got all, the, all of the carnivals. So it is something to 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 definitely love um, from from the perspective of EA. I actually do like it, um, and then that means for me, batch three is going to be probably some more major league team of the seasons uh, and stuff like that. Something that I would definitely point out to you guys today to stay away from, like 100% stay away from it today. Um, there's going to be cards on the market like Kai Havertz, uh, FFS, things like that that are going to drop drastically. All of these cards, Neymar. These cards are going to go down a lot today, guys, and I'm just going to give you the heads up. Please do not invest in them today. Um, they will go lower. You guys can see here, there's already a ton of them being packed fresh. Um, excuse me, I was kind of burping there. There's already a ton of them being packed fresh, guys, and they're going to be thrown onto the market, and all of these cards, in my opinion, today are going to go down. There's a very good shot, though, that within the next like hour or two hours um, that it does get too low and that it will rebound back. So keep that in mind because some of these cards are going to go down like literally guys they're gonna price cut like 50 percent today and if it does see that kind of drop you should definitely look into picking some up because there's no way that they stay that low um but to me it is it is very surprising that ea have gone ahead uh and put in team of the seasons that was something today that i haven't i really just wasn't expecting um at all and it is going to correct some of the prices of these now the good news is that if you guys have picked up and as you can see here he's 53k 50k and he's dropping right he's 49k uh, 46k so he's definitely getting packed right now these are impacts i believe for another two weeks now the good news is what i wanted to point out um to dave to you guys is that if you guys had invested in any of these kind of cards um where we were talking about man of the matches right hero cards um blue team of the season cards that well those were those would be previous weeks but informs things like this the only way that somebody can pack this kind of card right now um is via the inform sbc this is now 100 out of packs and ea tweeted that today and they said that these cards are now out of now out of packs so like for example foot birthday coutinho this card can no longer be packed so while there's other cards that are now going to be put into packs that may be dropping onto the market um these specific ones like obama and foot birthday the ones that we stocked our club with they 100 percent um are not able to be packed anymore which is really good news guys because i know a lot of you guys we're a little, I think a lot of people watching my videos were a little bit worried um, that EA was going to kind of blindside us and put these cards in packs. But I'm here to tell you guys today that the next time that you guys could pack like a foot birthday, the next time that you guys could pack um, a card like a Marcelo, right? Anybody like this, the next time is going to be potentially in the best of round. And that would be in like a week or two. That's like the next time that these guys would be able to get packed. I also saw somebody putting a comment on my last video saying, Nick, do you think Team of the Years will be packable, you know, in the last round? I don't think so. I feel like Team of the Years are the most elite cards. And I feel like EA likes keeping those cards high in value because I think when you have those cards um, so expensive, it makes people kind of still grind towards them. And when you put everything in packs and you re-release cards, it kind of takes away a lot of the grind factor people can obviously obtain. For example, if you wanted this UCLI Fabinho, you could obtain it a lot easier um, because EA had just put it in the pack. So yeah, we've got a lot of major cards in packs right now. I mean, we've got, um, all the rest of the worlds. So, I mean, there's not a lot of good ones, but then if you look more at, you know, it's going to make rewards and, and stuff like that a little bit better. The fact that you've got all this stuff in special, you know, in special card packs, it's, it's definitely better than the week before, man. You're going to have Deluxe team of the season in packs. You're going to have doom freezes in packs. So it, it means in your weekly rewards in the hundred K packs, there's a chance that you can pack some of that stuff in terms of like the team of the knockout stages 
you could pack potentially like a Sadio Mane, so you've now got an even better version. But then if you look towards the headliners, I believe they put, did they put Paul Pogba? In? They did, so Paul Pogba is available to be packed. I'm just going to point out a few cards that guys, they're, they're, that are big cards that they've put into packs. Um, Paul Pogba can get packed. I wonder if there's a fresh one. There's not a fresh one. That's a fresh one, so somebody packed Paul Pogba. Um, Royce's headliner is available to be packed. Um, and then every single like future star in the moon is able to be packed. I think all of them. I'm looking at 14 to 33, which means I think it's all of them. We've already looked at Havertz, but like Jaden Sancho is available to be packed. So Sancho's a guy um, that you guys can pack if you guys are opening up packs today. Now, this for me, guys, the fact that they have put team of the seasons in packs um, <clears throat> is actually excellent for anybody that's like a crafter uh, or anything like that. And the reason for that is because right now we've got an amazing selection of potential SBCs you guys can do. And for me, this is great for the 81 plus double upgrade SBC. If you guys are a guy that is like, you know, really into these kind of SBCs, this is going to be fantastic value. You have to put in 11 rare gold players. So right now, according to Footbin, I talked about this yesterday, but according to Footbin, this SBC is going to cost you, um, let me see, this SBC is going to cost you 9,000 coins. So the thing is, right? You're going to get two rare untradeable players over 81 rated, obviously. Um, but what I really like is that you've got 260 special cards in packs right now. And those are all usually, I'd say right now as a, as a guess, I'd say about 220 of those out of 260 have a higher rated than 81 plus. But I, I, I don't even think the base card matters. I just think that there's a lot of cards that you can pack here. And I think this time around, you do have a lot better card selection in packs. You've got a lot of the team of the knockout stages. So like, for example... You don't have Team of the Season Messi in packs, but you've got the 99, right? And the 99 is a decent card. You don't have that or that, but you've got this one in packs. And I think it's, I think that's worth mentioning, guys, that that's pretty decent. Um, it is pretty decent that you've got that one still available in packs. Um, other than that, right, we've also got, I talked about it with you guys, all of the future stars are available in packs. Vinicius Jr. is one of the many that you guys can pack, which is, again, Another very, very, very high tier card. You guys can see him now dropping on the market. But very, very cool cards to potentially pack untradeable. Um, and I think that's why a lot of these best of cards, they do have a certain significance. And I think there is a certain... I think there is a certain level that I like to this because there's a lot better card selection that you can pack. Now, the only bad cards that really look like they're in packs right now, there's a few really bad man of the matches. Um, and then there's a few bad informs, but I would say maybe 30 to 40 out of the 260 tops. And then you talk about what else is bad in packs right now that you can potentially pack with the new best of packs. A lot of the team of the seasons in terms of rest of the worlds and Saudi league team of the seasons, um, those ones are pretty not, those are not great. But remember with the team of the seasons, guys, this is what I will tell you guys about the team of the seasons. I'm going to pull up a random one on this list, for example. Um, I think this is one. Let me see. So. Here's what I'll tell you. A lot of these team of the seasons at the minimum are still 84 to 85 rated. So even though they're not great in terms of crafting, in terms of getting over to the SPC section, completing icons and things like that, that is where they are valuable in a way that you're still going to be able to, even if you're doing like this 81 plus double upgrade, you guys are still going to be able to pack some pretty high level, high rated team of the season cards. And I think that has a certain significance. Um, to your SBC crafting, to your SBC values, even though it may is, it may be untradeable, you still have a certain good level, in my opinion, of um, kind of players to pack, which like I can appreciate. I think that's a very, very, very good situation, and I think it's something that I would not, you know, I would not, I would not ignore. That you guys can start to work on some more icons, and obviously the team of the week market is dead. They've just put in more team of the week players, and then we've still got these team of the week SBCs available. So. For me, guys, today is a is a W. I really like today. I think this is a really good thing for me, eh? I'm not... Look, you guys know, man. I, I tell it how it is. I think this is good. I was not expecting Team of the Seasons. I was pretty sure we weren't going to get any. So the fact that we are getting some, to me, um, is surprising to me. Um, I, I was not expecting it. And I think... I think it's something, boys, that... I don't know, man. I Just here's the thing. I thought that we were just going to get almost like, you know nothing in packs that was relevant so to see somewhat of some relevant stuff in packs because last week honestly we didn't really get anything that relevant guys it wasn't that good or the last two weeks rather um it just wasn't that good the stuff in packs was very average to me um there could have been some way better stuff and so now now you're talking about some players that 
potentially you that are desirable to go ahead and pack. And I think that is is relevant. And I also think for you guys who are doing the crafting and the icons and all that kind of stuff, like this is definitely a W. Um, for the reason that you're going to be able to pack so many high-rated players uh, untradeable if you guys are grinding those upgrade SPCs, which I do recommend, man. I'm going to, the next, whenever my internet starts working, um, I'm going to try to fire up the stream, boys, and um, I am going to try to fire up the stream, boys, and, and do those. I have a 70, 81 plus packs right now saved up, so I would really, really, really like to do those um, as soon as I can because those are... Obviously, pretty valuable right now with, with all the special cards and packs, and they should be a lot of fun. We should be able to pack, like, a, a pretty good amount of special cards um, from those packs. So, that should be 78 rated. This is going to get us the 45k pack voting SPC um, from today. I don't know what this is going to give us in terms of, like, a value. Um, but let's see if we can pack anything. It's a 45k pack SPC. I think I opened up two from the store. We didn't get anything. So, let's see if we can get a walkout SPC pack look OP. Not a walkout, boys. We did not pack a walkout. We also didn't get a special card, but that's the that's the SBC for the day, um, which is obviously amazing value. You can pay not much. That's so funny. They just gave him a Barcelona footies card, and I just packed his gold card because they haven't changed. They haven't brought out his transfer card yet um, onto this game. But overall, I'm pretty happy with EA for today. Honestly, I'm not that happy. Oh, keepers are like AK. The thing that I'll tell you guys right now that I'm not that happy about um, is the fact that... How do I say this? The footies players they're bringing out are pretty irrelevant. Nobody wants a keeper today. And I know they have to do a keeper category. But just the last few players just, like, have not been good, man. And it's it's just been slow in terms of, like, the footies players. I know I, I've assembled, like, I have a footy squad here. Um, and with this footy squad, I kind of track the players that I'm collecting. Um, and they just, like, dude, they haven't been that good, man. You guys can see, like, the last two was Kovacic. The really only the great ones that I've seen so far through the SBC footies has been Lozano and Perisic. I mean, this was a foot swap, right? So that's a little different, but yeah, man, it hasn't been that great in terms of like the footies in general. So hopefully EA can get it going, man, in terms of like the player selection. It's been a little bit weak. It hasn't been popular players. So that's the only thing I would say out of today that I would recommend that they do going forward. Thank you guys for watching the video today. Drop a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try my best to get a stream up for you guys later. It all depends on the internet and how it's looking. Um, appreciate your guys, obviously patience with it. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace out.